<laughs> Here we go, the top three stories this morning that will make you say what? Coming in at number three, a hawk <laughs> trapped inside a high school gym is now free thanks to a few wildlife employees. This happened in San Jose, California. Aww. The worker is using a finch and a mouse to lure the hawk to the middle of the gym. After nearly four hours, workers were finally able to release the bird back into the wild. It was hungry. It was yeah, looking for some prey. Thing. Number two, talk about a sticky situation. This is so <laughs> bizarre. Arizona Cardinals quarterback Carson Palmer and an Oakland Raiders linebacker, well, they got their cleats stuck together in the fourth quarter of their game. Yeah, don't ask us how. We can't figure it out. <laughs> Luckily, two offensive linemen were soon able to <laughs> unravel the interesting situation. It looks like a you know party I game, like Twister or just something. How did that happen? I, I don't. Know. And look, they're having a hard time trying to that get them untied so too. Okay, well, <laughs> it happens. That's strange. And coming in at number one, a California woman may have gotten a little too much inspiration from Santa. See, she got stuck in a chimney. Hmm. Firefighters were able to rescue the woman who was all covered in suits. She was later charged though with illegal entry and providing fake information to a police officer. So she's probably, I mean, we don't know why. I mean, that looks like a, a strip mall or something. She or didn't a house plan that it. one out no, very well. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, 838 is your time. We will be right back. But first, here are Saturday's winning Powerball and Lotto numbers, along with last night's winning Cash 5 and Pick 3 numbers. Good luck. A lot of us in the TV world kind of wish that we could be in the radio world. Aisha, <laughs> you tasted that world, yes, right? Yes, I did. But I was really young, so I was about 12. Okay. Where I would record, you know, the top hits from the radio at the time. Mm -hmm. and you then, could be fine for that now. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I know. Be I'd be in big trouble. I mean, it was just for my own personal. I'd just have fun. So I'd record the songs and then kind of record my own voice in between them, kind of like the girl on the radio. I wanted to be just like her, so did you have, that's my did story. You, did you have a name? No, I didn't. I had call letters, okay. like kind of like ours, KXRM. I had my own call letters, but... Like, I had fun with it. I really wake liked Wake up with radio. Aisha. Is that yeah. what the, no, you like to your like stuffed a, animals it was or was like it older? It a noon show. Oh, a oh. noon nice. show. <laughs> okay. Well, now I have something to do in the 8 o'clock hour, <laughs> so that'll be exciting. Thanks, John. It was great seeing them, you know, behind yes. the scenes doing, doing their thing, Very the cool. radio people. Thanks so much. 741 now. We're going to be right back with your trivia answer. But first, here are Saturday's winning Powerball and Lotto numbers, along with last night's winning Cash 5 and Pick 3 numbers. Good luck. Pikes Peak looking south right now is what you're seeing on your screen. Some snow there on top of Pikes Peak. It's kind of melting a little bit because today and the next couple days are going to be a little bit warmer, but that will be coming back in the next couple days. Right now in Monument, 50 degrees. Colorado Springs, 44, 45 in Pueblo and over to Lamar, 42. So just overall, we're ranging in the 40s. So it's still a little chilly if you want to just throw on a sweater if you're heading outside the door right now. Our satellite radar is showing not much as far as Colorado or even the western side of the country. We're just seeing uh, just a few clouds coming up from the south and that we're going to see a little bit of changes in the next couple days. But for today and tomorrow, we're kind of in the clear as far as that goes. Moving on to our week's worth in Colorado Springs. We're going to be ranging in the 60s and 70s. The big day to talk about is Wednesday because we're possibly expecting some rain for